So me and my assistant here are going to show you how to use um, some of the samba instruments that you can make in your house. Okay, here you are. Okay, thank you. We're going to need that. The lowest sound in a samba band is from a big kind of uh, a bass drum type instrument called a uh, surdu. So we're going to make ours from a big plastic box. We normally use these for laundry. Now, if I hit this on its own, it's a little bit too boomy. So we're going to stuff this blanket in. That. You can hit it with your hands, or a better sound by hitting it with a shoe. You want to try? Yeah. Let's have one, two, three, four. The samba snare drum is called a kaisha, and it's just like a, a snare drum you might know from a traditional drum kit with some. Uh, springs on it but they're positioned in a slightly different place. For this sound we just need a loud kind of thwack type sound ideally giving us that snare finish. So I've got a pot of bacon beads and if I just do this I get something like that. You want to try? Okay. Good, let's try doing four that wax nice. together. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. You're going. Yeah. Even if you haven't got any baking beads lying around, you can just get a bag of pasta and whack that. You want to try? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So a samba band always has some shakers, which in Brazilian Portuguese are called ganza. So you can take some containers and fill them with rice for a nice soft sound, or pasta for a stronger sound. Which one would you like? I would like the rice, Okay. because I like it. So you're going to hold it like this, holding the lid on. Okay. Now we're going to go high, low, high, low, high, low, high. If you don't want the hassle of having to empty out your rice and pasta though, just look around the house and find some boxes. That have things in them already. Here's a box of sweets, even your bag of rice without emptying it out. What would you like to choose? I would like to choose the custards. Okay, so we're going to use the same approach. It's going to go <laughs> high, low, okay. high, low. See how I've got my thumb here and my fingers here. High, low. <laughs> There's also an instrument similar to a kind of cowbell called the agugo. And you might recognise it from the dun da da dun da dun da dun da dun da kind of sound that you hear in samba music. You can make this easily out of two glass bottles that have two pitches. Find one which is higher and one which is lower. The full samba rhythm goes like this. I'm using a pen. Or a spare chopstick. This is quite a hard rhythm for children to learn though, so you can just simplify it so it goes something more like this. Can I try? Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. Okay. Great. Now to get the sound to ring out on these bottles, hit it here on okay. the Or, if you've got a cocktail measure around, like this, a traditional jigger, this makes a perfect agogo as well. So you hold it in the middle, and again we're thinking about the high note first, a little bit. I'm going to ask my assistant to have a go now, and what we're going to play is... Well done. Do you want to try?
<laughs> Good try. There's a small drum about this size. It's part of the samba band called the tambourine. And it doesn't have any jingly bits, um, like a tambourine that we would know. And you hit it with a stick, a special kind of beater, which has got multiple kind of pieces on the end. We don't have anything like that. So I'm going to use a chopping board and two chopsticks together. You want to try? Yeah. Wow. Baby, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. Baby, I don't need dollar bills to have fun tonight. I love cheap thrills. I don't need no money. I don't need no money. As long as I can feel the, as long as I can feel it. I don't need no money. I don't need no money. As long as I keep dancing. As long as I keep dancing.